All right, everyone, welcome to the Great War. Uh, kind of a day late or so. Uh, also, I have no idea what the music won't play, but that is none of our concern, ain't it? Either way, um, so I did make an earlier recording of this, and I can start up while I'm actually doing this, uh, where I played as Austria-Hungary, which we are still gonna play. But I got to like early, early in October, and then it has some kind of crash. So I've been playing a little on the free time, my free time with both Sweden and uh, and Austria Hungary, and I have gotten to February 1915. So it seems to work just fine now. Jesus, that was loud. Uh, yes, I would like to have that. Uh, options. Oh, and I'm gonna get death if I have this on. Music isn't tech, that's why. Then again, it is kind of the same music as in vanilla, but hey ho. Um, in my, fir my first video... You know, I sure there was a crash, but I'm still glad that I didn't, you know, upload it because it was pretty trash. Like so trash that even I, like, no, fuck this. I wouldn't watch this. <laughs> um, are we gonna do our opening move like we didn't, like I did in uh, both my? Playthroughs, both uh, free play and uh, and uh, yeah, when I was recording. Okay, so one thing though, we we are very poor. That's kind of the sad. All right, good. Spania, trade, please. God bless. And Romania. Sure. Sure. As, as long as we're winning on it. But yeah, that was just a piss poor video. I mean, it had its moments in a battle, like we lost against the Serbians, but we won against the Russians. But it was me just going out on, you know, petty details, like... For instance, I, th I thought that uh, the uh, infant, yeah, the infantry had, uh, you know, a different type of rifle than they were meant to have, and you know, yada yada yada, which they don't. These guys actually do have the Manlika, you know? Just that the bolt is on the wrong side, which kind of annoys me a little bit. Like mm. <laughs> everyone else has this on the right side, but uh, you know. I think, don't think I'm gonna be commentating a lot on t while I'm doing this. Mostly just gonna, you know, share my thoughts on, you know, strategic movements. And yeah, okay, yeah, I re remember now. We do want this one and this one just to get the population, popul public order up. And then we want this one. So we can build these uh, fields over here. There. So we're gonna start with this one and this one. Whoops. And we're gonna try and uh, and that one. And then we're just gonna try and get as much money we can as possible and avoid. Anything that lowers public order, because that is so annoying. And most of our money is gonna go to this. Oh yeah, also another thing in that previous recording was that I actually said, fuck it, we're not gonna hold Lem Lemberg. But, um, you know, it does give us an income that we really do need. So, um... Yeah. 
and we need this too, otherwise it's gonna take forever to go from A to B. You are very effective to have here, because the Russians are gonna just come along here real lot. And we should have a good army going, yes sir. And this is what I did last time too, going around to take Buddha, Budapest. But uh, I beat them to uh, <laughs> to their capital, so let's see see if we can do that this time too. Um, the Italians will declare war on us, so I hope that now when when we have trade, we will actually be able to um, at least put it off a little bit. Okay, we're gonna do that just for now. Um, Dragoons, I think you should have... Yeah, garrison police bonus, we take those guys. And I don't really know what the difference between these are, other than the offspring, so better than whatever the hell this is. A bit more expensive too, now when I see it, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, wait, hold on. These are cheaper, so take those. Oh, just within range. <laughs> and I do prefer these guns over these guys, although these guys are also very good. And I will show you in a minute if I get to fight. <laughs> but anyway, um, that's, that's a first. They have never attacked me before when I did this. They have always ignored me. And this unit is... Uh, the only one left, <laughs> probably like a hundred year old unit. In a way we entrench, I have never seen, I have never been able to deploy trenches. Which, I have seen trenches, I have seen, it's the same little... Um, it's the same uh, that you have in uh, Vanilla Napoleon and Empire, that little upwards. I think you see him on the... Yeah, you see them on the uh, main menu, but that's not how they look, it's just one-sided. Okay, uh, we want to defend this. And uh, this, absolutely. And I still can't deploy trenches, why is this? Oh yeah, also, the uh, crash seems to have been... I don't know even what the crash message said, it was something, something. And, um... Uh, come on, why can't I deploy trenches? This is something... Uh, in the settings? Because I could do it in the... Uh, custom battle. Because this place would have been wonderful to have trenches on, holy shit. I'm still struggling a little bit with the range though, I have a tendency to, at times, walk my men straight, like halfway into an enemy is uh, fire range before I stop my men and fire. You, you can go on. I don't know why it does this. And that is not trench, that is uh, guard mode, which everyone will actually get into. But yeah, I have no idea, I mean, how to deploy trenches, maybe they ain't... I don't know. I don't know. The, uh... I don't know. We're gonna have... You on 
all fire well off. Which is really hard. You really have to look at if this is on or off. And I have wasted enough time. Let's go. And the Russians look really good too. Yeah, when I play, when I decided, before I decided to play as Austria, it was between. Yeah, it was either Sweden, France, Russia, Germany, or, you know, Austria. So pretty much all the main factions, except for Great Britain. And uh, Austria took the cake, so, uh, yeah. Or it woke my interest, at least. And we're gonna speed it up for the poor Russians. Woohoo! Oh, yes, missed that. Anyway, this is why I prefer these guys. They are explode on impact. So if we just hold your fire. But these guys are even though I don't like them, are extremely useful against cavalry. <laughs> These guys fired off a second volley. But yeah, they tend to overshoot a lot, which these guys doesn't tend to do as much, but they do it. And I will tell you now that I am perfectly okay to just sit back and let my artillery do all the work. I'm not gonna s let you see it, but you know, yes, sir. I am willing to do so. So yeah, even if I don't like them, they are really useful, especially against cavalry, and this is something you don't want to do with cavalry. I have done it a few times, but, uh, you know, I realize that it's stupid, and I'm sure I'm gonna do it again. And the AI beat the AI. Sir! Sir! Our general is under attack! Yeah. And that's why cavalry kind of died out. You know, I am tired of it. Fuck it. And I can't really counter battery fire, so... I'll stay out of range. These guys will just, just become shot in the uh, in the uh, water. Oh yeah, um, what was the setting? Uh, there was a setting that had like 400 men in one unit and eight cannons. And let me tell you something, that was something. Just eight guns all at once. Just boom. That was great, but as I said, it uh, apparently caused something in the files. Oh, it caused something crash. Usually on the uh, Russian, yeah, on the Russian turn, something caused a crash. So, um, yeah, I had to turn it down. At least that's what they said on some forums, or on the older patches at least, that they uh, just turned the. Uh, Unit size down, and you should be fine. Also, I had a problem with the uh, launcher, the uh, launcher file. It, uh, whatever anti uh, virus or whatever the fuck you want to call it, it, it was a little. <laughs> not gonna, I'm not gonna let you do this. Like, I'm gonna remove this for you. <laughs> so I, I had to go in and you know allow it to be downloaded. I don't know, or I had to allow it to, you know, 
go into my Napoleonic file. And it even asked me, are you sure you want to do this? <laughs> you know, something with it. But I guess that's because it was quite a new file. But, uh, you know, oh my god. But, um, there was that little issue. Oh my god, this... Oh, I'm gonna show you real fast. Um, ah, shame this. That is the Mandika. A little bit closer. You there, and uh, just the bolt that's on the wrong side. And the Russians do have. Oh, that's one. <laughs> Let's see if I can deselect you. And I think if I work my wonders, that would be a wonderful screenshot. Something. And yeah, that's the Nagat. But, um, you know, militia units, and, or, you know, armed citizens, yeah, armed citizens have the, um, all of those that I've seen, which is, is Sweden, Norway, hell, even the armed citizen looks different, uh, but yeah, most of the, uh, if not all of them, has the uh, Gewehr at the that I'm gonna complain about it, just something. How far I, as much as I've seen so far, and this is an absolute massacre. Absolute massacre. Holy shit, I wouldn't want to be these guys. This is like storming Stalingrad. <laughs> German. Austrians on the high ground above, shoot down. Lord. Hey, this is enough for a like. Yeah, a lot of. Uh... I wonder if they did that in the war, you say. Well, you know, we don't have enough manlikas, so we are just gonna give you guys a fuckload of uh, motion. Okay. Most in my guns. Here you go. Have fun. And I think it's time to launch preemptive assault. Cavalry get over first. Over here, these guys have rifles. These guys have. Uh, in the Austrian case, they have Lucas. I did have a problem once with the... Okay, the Kana in the vanilla too, so I guess that problem ain't something special to the mod. Let's just ignore that. Ah, they got a few kills, but not many. Mostly, okay, there they got a few. That is by artillery. Yeah, we, we're gonna get over this as quick as possible. Thank you very much.
Yeah, my generals have always died in, in my battles. I need a dedicated general unit. We have killed their generals, sir. And that's now their they general. Must break. I think I should break them. Let's see those. See those one. Hot house. be a long video since it's uh, you know, the first episode is soon to be yours. and I really do like this mod <laughs> I really do uh, the AI seems to not really understand its, its uh, range you know they tend to walk at times tend to walk all the way up like uh, to 80 to range 80 and then fire in which case they have like already died. But at other times they there is unused land suitable for farming in this region. Building farms here will help the population to grow over time and produce trade income. I don't think I actually want that, but at the same time no I don't. And because I don't have a general, I don't get any replenishments. And generals are Fuck off, expensive. Let's upgrade that. And we're gonna beat the Serbs. The one thing that actually got me to uh, play as Osprey is, well, first because I wanted in the end to play as Austria, but also that. Um, uh, you know, they were the one faction, if I understand it correctly, that could actually say mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. So, I mean, sure, it was like one day or so, but still. Okay, so two turns or one. Yeah, one turn and I should be able to get a general if I care enough to get a general. I still don't know if losing an army is on Austria's agenda. So, uh, Lam Lemberg, or Lemberg, although it give, gives me not too much income, it is still income. So, uh, yeah. So, so need it, but don't really want to, you know, lose an army over it. And I thought I only had like one pass through the Carpathians down here, through uh, Romania. But I do actually have a retreat. Right through here too, so uh, I am completely fucked if they were to take it. Uh, there was something else now. Oh yeah, research that, then that, and then we're gonna focus on money. <clears throat> then when we then when we take in Sarajevo, we're gonna work on this one. Get those uh, fields up and running. And no, we're not gonna wait on this little army. Uh, 
right, let's uh, do this. They might advance, they might let us advance. I think this Maximus Pash have always commanded this army. Like legit, always, always, always. He have like died twice and still commands it. <laughs> Uh, okay. So, let's have... I do kind of miss the 8 uh, gun uh, bad race that was in, uh, uh, you know, ultra units. But, uh, you know, I guess I can make do with 4. This is crash the game, or cause something in the game. Like so, moving forward, just a bit. Cavalry over here. And I have a, a liking actually to these small patches of wood. They act like if you, if you want, you know, troop, play, troop, troop placements. Although sometimes you're gonna have to place them out in the open. So uh, you two can be. Be here. Some of you can be ready to rush out to these other ones. Uh, you can have there, and then you just try and uh, you know bring all your men together in uh, as much as you can cohesive the line. I think this is all I can do for now. So uh, you rush this way. You can rush this way, guns going off, and you can rush there, take that, uh, be careful of friendly fire, because they will absolutely massacre each other, I had one unit that lost like, was 70% of his unit, just being shot in the fucking back, not fun, not fun at all. These guys are the reserve to this area. Here, 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 which is a little better. Cavalry is not that useful, but if you can get around and attack the uh, air batteries, then it's really worth the money. Granted, if it can kill it. <laughs> Bit of a hill they are. An object that I, that I can't walk over, so I'm gonna have to split these two up. Run, please, faster! Okay, never mind, fuck it. Here, here, hurry up. Run. And as I said, all of these look armed citizens look different, which is, which is a real nice feature. Or feature thing. But let me just tell you, they have 45 rounds, these uh, infantry, but they burn through like fucking machine guns. Not 
Yeah, it's on this side. Are running, sir. Huh? Oh, kill this dude. Pretty sure that the gun sounds from uh, well, all the guns are from uh, Battlefield One. Not that that's a complaint, just that I yeah. The uh, I just do love it, especially when you get a one-hit kill. That's mm, so beautiful. units has used all its ammunition, sir. You know, you were meant to actually deal with this, and I completely forgot. Yeah, yeah I know they had Okay, so... Uh... Hmm. Oh, those ain't con... What are those? They kind of... The mic Our men are running, sir. Maybe it's a Carabiner 98, not the uh, World War II one, but World War One Carabiner. And let's go. And as I said, that darn whistle is getting really annoying after a while. Decimation, holy fuck. <laughs> A glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours.
think these are canister shooters. I wish the artillery actually said that, because if we are check... What the fuck? Interesting cannon. But yeah, it says Lighthouser. What does that... Ah, okay. wait, hold on. It doesn't say if it's, you know, canister shooter or not. So, um... Mm. Guess that's kind of a problem, at least for me, when I didn't know what kind of, you know, when I didn't, when I didn't know what they were shooting. So I kind of had a lot of guns because they were sheep, though. Go and what is the occupation of Serbia without a little attrition? Attrition is that the right word? Don't think so. Anyway, uh, we have enough money for a uh, general. Oh yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. Good defender. We're gonna need a defender though. Morale, morale. Man, morale. Hmm. The arch do I think you actually. And we're gonna be under siege very soon. Also, win winter is coming, so I kind of have to move my soldiers back to, or my armies back to their original positions. Or they're gonna take attrition. And so will the German, so will the Russians. The Russians have no winter attrition immunity. At all. So, uh, if they do come during winter, then you can just wait. And the AI tend not to, uh, you know, place their armies into cities, as I've seen. They tend to just walk forward. And Germany is just gonna be a shit show. The ruling classes have written a letter of demands to your national leader, as they are unhappy with the current government. Failure to comply will lead to an organized That's rebellion okay. against... We will deal with this. And I think I'm gonna play it a year out, then I'm gonna... It's gonna be extremely long video, but... You know... <clears throat> uh, there was something... How's research? Sarajevo... Risk it... Actually, you can work on... Not that one. That one, I suppose. Or oh, conscription. Conscription. And here we want to upgrade that. Anything that gives us money. And I'm gonna. Don't know what I want here. I guess I should get ready just in case, I mean they will, so you know. Some dragoons. And I, you, you can make the game with just these two if you want, not that I've gotten that far, but you know. Mm -hmm. Another question is, do I want to 
But yeah, it's uh, next turn is winter, isn't it? Had had they besieged me one turn later, if it now is winter next next turn after this turn is winter, so. Yeah. Rioting has broken out in this region as the lower orders have become too unhappy. Nothing I can you do about it. They repeat. are not gonna be happy either way. But they will give us time to replenish our army. Destroy that exactly what I was expecting. Um, okay, let's do this. The guns, but I have done this before. Exactly third time now. And it's the same commander as last time. <laughs> uh, wish the uh, map could show features a little bit better though. I can see down here that it's something that's blocking movement. But more than that, it's just a plain featureless desert. Or mud. What a oh, this is actually quite nice. So we're gonna send the poor folks first. Than the better ones, I suppose. And these guys respond, so they they are expendable. That's terrifying at that sounds, but you know they are expendable. Mm -hmm. I think he is actually quite a better one. Not really. Um, And no, we're not gonna advance in one in a single line. That, that took a hard time to say. Uh, we are gonna spread them out a little bit, like we did against the Serbians. Which, no, these are Russians. But, but yes, yeah, we did in versus Serbia. We're gonna spread our men out. Sir, sir, our general is under attack. And then go from there. And now with long ranges, it's even more important that you actually, you know, get down and look. And I can see that these guys, I guess they can be just, oh, just in within, uh, you know, in uh, range. And I know I said I'm happy to just sit back and let the artillery do the work, but when the enemy has like four guns to your two, then you kinda have to get moving a little bit. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Rebelling are the few factions that actually give their armed population like uniforms of one, sh one sort of another. units has used all its ammunition, sir. Moving, so getting these units are not a good idea. Okay, one. These guys have extremely long range for pistols. Holy shit. One of our units has used all its ammunition, sir. <laughs> you must have changed side, boy. <laughs> so, wow, we lost so many. We don't want to charge the horses, so they're gonna have to go to the Get further up here, come on, we can do it. Yeah, we can get you up there, that's wonderful. Where's the cavalry? There it is. Keep on from 
forgetting about here. Our men are running, sir. Ah, no artillery. destroyed ourselves but uh, you know I think most yeah most casualties are these poor folks um, yeah they don't have much of an army left and I just gonna have to wait for them to um... okay they can reach me there but what I did last time was that I actually managed to get over here just out of range of the Russians. I am sure this guy is historical as well. Uh, we want to actually... No, we don't want to do that. Winter is coming next turn. So we're gonna... End of turn. Maybe the trenches is something you have to research. I'm Pretty sure that's now when I think about it, that's something you have to research. Pretty darn sure. So we want to find research. Come on, Italy. Come on, hurry up. And German last. It kind of suck to be last in turn order because everyone can just gang up on you. Rebellions grow in strength over time, the more they're left unchecked. Always Aha, act quickly in these instances, otherwise the uprising may come. That is okay. They will come to me. I can destroy them. Nationalism. And we wanna do... There you are. Uh, politics... I 
The only reason this guy is left is because minus three clamor of uh, reform. So uh, yeah, and everyone is competent, but it adds absolutely fucking nothing. Status quo. Upright. Gonna take a risk. That took it down to two. All right. All right. So they gonna ignore this army. Okay. We still wanna move down here. They'll just stay out of range, mostly. And uh, we might as well just say hello to that army with our army. And no further on I won't play like fucking the entire year out. I just wanna get going a little bit. So, um, I don't know. 30 minutes? How much can I really do in 30 minutes? Not much. Move about a little bit. Uh, but. Hmm. I'm thinking 1915, January 1915 to something else, like a quarter of the year. Hmm. Definitely not half. And Germany struggles to just get their acts together. I think everyone is doing that besides hey, there are naturally occurring me and Russia. In this region that are not currently being exploited. Development in these areas now will increase your nation's trade income later. Yeah, the thing is that the Italians are gonna attack me at one point or another. We wanna do that. Guess we wanna give these guys a general as you have a general. Okay, that's good. That's a first. Holy oh, shit. Arthur Franz Salvatore of Austria. Alright. <laughs> and I just gonna. It, not, it might not go very well at all, but. It did. Amazingly good. Somehow. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to deal with uprising, so... Mm. And that's pretty much how far I got the last time. I actually took Ven Venice as well, but I like took the money and left. So... I think these are actually better to be operated. And we're gonna have fields and wow that's a lot of money. There we go. And we're gonna have a fight next turn, or halfway there sort of. I can actually recruit some, uh, which are better here. Oh, they are expensive. Less, less. Okay, so... The thing is that these guys are like cannons. They don't fire upwards. But, and they take longer time, so I gonna have to go with those guys eh? anyway. And I think these are Bosnians. Not quite sure. Jeez, they sheep at least. Holy fuck! I I take those over <laughs> anything else really. And we're under siege again. Ugh. Lemberg is gonna be under siege like forever and always, and whenever possible.
Serbians in the mountains. Fuck me, holy shit. Yeah, um... I'm not willing to risk that at all. That's, uh... See, he's back. Maximus Pash. <laughs> he's always gonna command this army. Yeah, if I had the uh, mountain guns, I would not be able to deploy them like this. General is under I attack. Saw that one coming. Not this, but you know the the air blast.
Gorgeous and lovely. Glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. units has used all its ammunition, sir. November and it's still not snowing, not even in Russia. Wow. Okay, I actually took I took this area quicker than I did last or in my free time, so um, I should relieve some pressure on everyone. And they're gonna fall back again. And gonna keep on doing so. You know, I think I've been playing long enough. So uh, I'm gonna thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. It was about here that I en encountered that 
the crash. So uh, we will have to see how it will turn out next time. Farewell.